Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to my channel. Well, I'm out here on a skateboard because I'm such a cool guy for my age. <laughs> That's not what my wife says. Anyways, uh, I'm out here having some fun because I'm out to fly a drone. And the drone I'm going to fly tonight is the Holy Stone HS120. It's a beginner drone, but it's a GPS beginner drone. It's got 16 minutes of flight time and um, it's got something that's pretty cool on it. The f it's got like a camera that you can move up and down, 1080p, comes with a micro SD card included with the drone, and um, it's pretty light. Yeah, so it's pretty windy right now, so we'll see how it flies in this wind. But it's a GPS drone that's like, I think it's around, like, it's really light. So in other words, if you're in a country where you can't fly drones because of the weight, this thing here is like under 250 grams. So I think that's the claim to fame with this thing. So anyways, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to fly it right here around the school. It's got follow me and all those other good things, active track and, you know, whatever that comes in drones nowadays. It's uh, very popular. And since it's from Holy Stone, you know, it's got a great warranty and support. So let's check it out. Here we have the little Holy Stone drone right here. And uh, yeah, it's not bad looking. The camera actually moves up and down. And over here, this here controller is rechargeable. So that's decent. Um, and like I say, they give you a little micro SD card in the back. I'll show you an unboxing later in the video and uh, you'll see everything that comes with this. But for the price uh, and the fact that it's a Holy Stone drone, it's not bad. But now we're going to check it out and see how it flies. Now the drone actually has a little on off button right here, which is pretty good because then you never have to remove the battery. There we go. There's the app. There's the HS120 controls. And there's my video signal. Well, I have to get the compass calibration done. So let's push these in. It tells me what to do on the screen. So I'll just spin this like that until everything's solid blue. Now it says turn it with the nose down, spin it and uh, set drone back on level surface. There we go. Now we're going to do the gyro calibration. Pull these out and it should return everything to, uh, there we go, to uh, proper calibration so it's all set to go you have a choice with this button here you can fly in gps mode or without gps mode so if you want to fly indoors push the button in until you hear a beep and there's no gps and if you want to fly outdoors with gps well then just start it up and it will be in gps automatically now if i pull these in and the motor start there's gps let's see well it must be gps so let's uh fly it up and see what happens what a tiny drone look at that pick it up it's a very small drone so you're seeing a screenshot of my phone display and on the left you have a little walkie man. So I'm going to hit that and it's got a man with little lines behind him and then a, a man with a square around him. The man with the square would be a fixed active track. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So slide to track and uh, oh, it doesn't draw. Do I draw a square? There we go. I draw a square around me. So what should happen in this mode? This is the same on all drones is the drone should stay right there. And as I move, let's see if it works. The drone should turn and this drone works perfectly. Yep. This drone is actually probably one of the best drones for doing this. A lot of drones crap out, but this one works. All right. So it followed me all the way around. Nice. And let's look at the walkie man again. I'll turn it off that walkie man. Next walkie man has <laughs> the drone turns around. Hey, I'm over here. <laughs> okay. So the next walkie man is uh, the one with the little lines behind him. Now, if I hit that one, that's the follow me. And hang on a sec. Do I have to draw something around me? No, it's just following my phone. So let's see if I walk this way. Come on. Here it comes. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> Want to go for a walk? Want to go for a run? Come on, boy. Yeah. So there you go. That's a, your typical follow me. And I'm back this way. So come on back this way. Let's take it off that guy. And we'll put it back into the normal mode and I have full control over it. Let me see what it's got in the settings here. So in the settings, you have beginner mode. Flight distance, uh, well, I've got it set to 302 meters. That's weird. Uh, return altitude, all that other good stuff. So let me just try it. It's already on save. 30 meters. Let me try a return to home, see how that works. I know there's, there's the button right here, return to home. So I took off from over there. Let's go see what it does. I'll hit the button. It's going up. It's going to go land on the school. Going back to China. Oh, I see. I must have had the height pretty high. I think I had it at 30 meters. How high is this thing? What did I have this set to? Look at how high up it is. Look at how high up I am. That is insane. So we're coming down. This might take an hour. Go get some popcorn. Well, it's doing quite well. I did take off from right here. So it's quite accurate. That's for sure. 
I'll give it that. That's a pretty accurate drone because I took off exactly from that spot. That's pretty good. Lands and shuts itself off. That is pretty decent. And it says I've got like 80% battery power left after all this flying. My flight record. Oh, there we go. My greatest altitude was 61.8 meters. That was the return to home. Get rid of that. There's a picture of a map that looks like it would be a waypoint mode, but... Ah, it does work. I see it there. Now it's got it. Okay, so let's try that. Here, let me just take off and uh, see how that works. Okay, let me try that little map thing now. It's over on the third icon from the left at the top. And there's a map. I do not see the map of where I am. So uh, it must be a GPS map. Let me see if I make it bigger. I cannot zoom in or zoom out. I don't see anything. On my phone, I'm using an Android phone and the map, I just get that blank. You can see my screen, it's, it's a blank of nothingness. I can tap all I want on it and I'm not getting anything. So the maps do not work on my Android phone for some reason. Maybe it doesn't like my phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Maybe if you have an Android phone or an iOS phone, you'll have better luck than me. All right, I'm still on the same battery. It's 60 minutes of flight time, so I'm gonna send it all the way down over by these dumpsters here. If you needed something light that uh, wouldn't get you into trouble with FAA regulations or regulations in your country, then this would probably be the drone for you. You saw what the video sample looks like. It's not a sunny day. It's very cloudy and overcast, as you can see as I move around here. It flies really well. It is pretty windy out right now, and this did a great job. So uh, I highly recommend it, and I will give it a thumb up even myself because I think this is a pretty good drone. Remember, it is a beginner drone. And it does have brush motors, so it's designed for beginners to just go out and have some fun. All right, so I'm going to say bye now and thanks for watching this video. But I'm going to put the unboxing right after I finish here because when you check out the unboxing, check out the charger for this. It's pretty cool. It's like a really nice charger they give you. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. And now, quick unboxing of the HS Series Holy Stone HS120D. Inside the box, I'm surprised. Now they're starting to include this Holy Stone, a uh, little Bible, as I call it, in this packaging. Have you ever seen one of these? Let me open it up and show you. It's pretty cool. It's uh, something kind of exceptional. You don't have to really provide this. Look at this. It's inside. You have all these sticky notes. You have a nice little notepad here. And on this side... Um, yeah, you can take notes and they include a pen. It's uh, use it as you wish. Pretty cool though. Next thing in the box, we have the cautions of battery. That's just telling you all about LiPo batteries. And you have the instruction manuals right here. It's behind it. Look at the size of this thing. I thought from the box, I thought there was this huge thing. It's, well, here's the size of my hand. So it's about the size, it's about the size of a hand. There, I put my hand on it. It's not as big as it looks. I'm so used to seeing these phantom shapes that are quite large. Although it, it feels very solid. Like it feels like it's quality made. It's got some good weight to it. So let's check it out. We can see right here. If we look at it really close, first off, they include a micro SD card. It's stuck right in the camera. This is supposed to be one of those cameras, you might have already seen it already, that is pretty smart. It's supposed to, when you go in active track, the camera will actually move to follow you around. You don't have to move it up and down. According to what I read, I could be totally wrong. And there you can see the little motor system that moves the whole camera down and up. And right there, you can see this little silver thing. That's your little on off button. The battery's already in, so there's probably some power. Let me just push it and see what happens. Should come to life. Hello. Oh, there we are. We have some lights back there. Got some lights in the front and uh, they're looking for the controller now and a GPS signal. So I'll just turn that off. The motors are brush motors. They are not brushless. I guess that keeps the cost down. But uh, like I said, it feels really solid. Like they did not make this cheap. There are no sensors on the bottom, are no sensors anywhere that I can see on the drone. So it has no optical flow or any other collision sensors or anything like that. Obviously it doesn't need it because it does have GPS and it will stay still in the air as long as you're out doors. Pull out the battery, it's very much designed like a very small mini Phantom. You know what? DJI could come out with a Phantom this size and everybody would buy it because it's very portable. So you yank this out. There's your battery. It looks like it's a two cell battery. It's a seven, I can barely read it on there. It looks like it's a 7.4 volt, uh, 25, 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp battery. I've used these controllers before on other drones like the F11 and the Z5 and uh, they're pretty good because when you open them up they have all sorts of LED lights here and LED lights here to tell you all the status. They're very easy to use these controllers and the little arms pop out. 
it's really decent. So uh, yeah, good controller. And it is rechargeable. Look at that, no batteries. Now let's go through all the goodies in the box. You get four prop guards, an extra pair of landing legs, USB cable so you can charge up your controller. So I have the charging unit here. I have the battery, you can see how it connects. That goes like that. And uh, there we go, we charge it up. It all fits in nicely. You also get four spare props. Notice they're nicely marked. B prop, A prop, and it shows you which way they spin. Very good for beginners. You also get what appears to be the smallest USB micro card reader I've ever seen in my life. So you would take the card that comes with the drone after you film, you stick it in here, I believe, I'm doing this from guessing, and put that in your computer. Also included is a Phillips screwdriver so you can open things up. Next, you get a landing gear removal tool. This little thing goes on the bottom. You see where the landing gear is? Say you want to remove this landing gear you stick it in and just bend and the landing gear will pop out. Finally you get the coolest thing I've ever seen with the drone. Right over here are screws and little caps. Those are gears and these are actually washers that are already greased up. Say your gears get messed up or something like that you take your little screwdriver that was included this comes off you change the gearing unit and you have the little screws for the caps and the props and over here you have some washers and all the other good stuff and uh, you're all set to go. Now as I mentioned this drone does not weigh very much and if I put the battery in, the battery doesn't even weigh very much. I think these guys might have a hit on their hands because I'm guessing it doesn't even weigh 250 grams. Let's see. Just a guess. Look at that. 218 grams. So this drone with a 1080p camera and all the features can fly below the regulations of 250 grams. That is two thumbs up spot on. Alright guys, thanks for watching the unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the future with more videos of drones. I've got a ton of drones to review, so uh, you're going to see a lot of reviews on this channel throughout the summer. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Catch you in the next video.